Can you all hear me? Well, good morning. Well, can we have a show of hands or if you're a bit, uh, want to be more anonymous, a show of pinkies. Did anyone here wake up and look in the mirror and give yourself something less than a kind assessment? <laughs> Did anybody? Uh, oh, well, got, got, got a response from there, yeah. Well, if so, good morning and welcome to the human race. So fellow humans, fellow human beings, I invite you to settle in, and we'll show just a few moments together, a few quiet moments. Perhaps we could move a bit closer to shifting our perspective. So as we often do, I invite you to become aware of your breath. Just breathing in self-acceptance and breathing out self-judgment. And again, gently breathe in self-love and breathe out self-judgment. And one more time, breathing in self-love and breathing out self-condemnation. You may be receiving unkind messages, messages from yourself, about yourself. Do you believe that your self-worth has conditions that you're too whatever or not enough whatever You're not alone. As author Marianna Williamson tells us, self-love is what you were born with, and self-judgment is what you learned here. Not here in this chapel, but here in the world. So I invite you to turn towards this message of loving acceptance and just rest in this moment. And as we go into a few moments of silence, and I invite you to allow your higher self to tell you the truth. Just allow your higher self to see, to see you the way spirit sees you. So wise. So creative.
so perfect just as you are. So complete, just as you are. Inviting a new awareness of yourself. Inviting a new self-image. And you may ask, who am I? Who am I to be so magnificent, to be so beautiful? Who are you not to be? You're a child of God, a beloved child of God. And you serve no one by playing small, by pretending to be less than perfect. And when you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes 
and open your heart. And know that if anything is troubling you about self-acceptance, love of self, what I'm saying isn't intended to say we shouldn't learn and grow, but if you feel troubled about any of these things, I invite you to reach out to us, to a practitioner, to a minister, to a friend. We need not travel this road alone. The God in me blesses and honors the God in you. Thank you.